Hey y'all, what's up? I hope that you are having a fabulous day. Today's video, we're going to be going over some of the Smashbox and Vlada, Vlada collaboration or collection. Um, I have four items here out of that line and I'm super excited to try them out and let you know my thoughts on them and how see how they work out for us. So if that is something that you want to see, then just sit tight. And if you are new here, then welcome. My name is Shay, and thanks so much for joining me today. All right. Um, don't forget, before we get into this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. And go ahead and click subscribe before you leave. That's it. That's all I got to say now. So we're we'll just go ahead and get into the video. Get into the video. Okay. Let's let's do this. All right, we are scooched in a little bit, and I'm not. Should I even say this? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure who Vlada is. I think she's an Instagrammer. Oh, so terrible. I know. I know. I'm new to YouTube. Forgive me. Okay. Um. So this is a like rose gold collection, and first off, packaging a plus just and this is just the box packaging everything I got here is covered in rose gold and I think it is super pretty I love rose gold I'm sure a lot of us do I love everything about it and I also love this little detail like this little um, emblem up oh, there we go so it's like a mouth open with a rose in it that's like dripping that is so pretty I love that touch um, the first product I have here is the Petal Metal Shimmer Spray, and this is a illuminator spray. You can use it anywhere on your body. Oh, I should have done like a off-the-shoulder top so we could have used it, but we're just going to use it on our face. So this says, watch your natural radiance blossom. This all-over illuminating spray mists on multi-dimensional pearls that hit skin with a dewy rose gold glow. Each spritz captures and reflects light for a more for more luminous looking skin. Um, it leaves skin hydrated and radiant and works with all skin types and tones. So again, this is the actual bottle and I think that is beautiful. Again, I love the rose gold. I love this little detail here. Mine looks kind of fingerprinty already. So that is one thing that if you touch it, your fingerprints are going to be left all over it. All right, let me pull up some details. So the um, Petal Metal Shimmer Spray is $39. And you get... Come on, get it together. All right, so you get 3.9 ounces. Um, I think their primer water is less than this. But, I mean, this does have the shimmer in it. I think that price is a little for Smashbox that is within their normal normal price range I mean it is a little bit pricey but all right but you can use it on your whole body so I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face I don't face I don't know how this is shoot that is a strong mist oh okay oh it smells good it has a nice little like floral rose type scent and I'm just going to like pat it in because it comes out very strong, kind of a lot. It's not like a light fine mist. It's kind of like, <laughs> okay, it is making my skin look super dewy. Oh my gosh, I already love it. If y'all don't know, if you're new here, uh, my skin is dry and I love anything that gives me glow and this looks super pretty. I'm not getting like a lot of like shimmer it doesn't look like i put gl sprayed glitter on my face which i like it's just giving me like an all over sheen that looks really 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 pretty like i said the scent is very very light it is not overwhelming it's not offensive but my skin i i can already tell i'm going to use this all the time because i love how dewy it makes my skin if you have oily skin you may not like this because it could make you look oily but for me i think under foundation i think it's going to look really really pretty all right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do my brows before we go into this next product. The next product I have is the CoverShot Petal Metal Eyeshadow Palette. 
and this is what she looks like really pretty again on the packaging I really like it this little baby is $29 which is not bad it has this um, holograph not holographic if you could tell on the packaging it's kind of I don't know I don't know how to describe it but then again it's got the rose gold on the rest of the packaging it is nice and solid and then this is what the inside looks like we got some pretty shimmers here I'm gonna do a little bit of swatches I'm super excited to dip into this we got two mattes and the rest are shimmers so let me go ahead and quickly do my eyebrows and then we'll do an eye look all right so I did go ahead and do my brows and I put some primer on my lids I used the shape tape and I did not set it so here again is our little palette super cute oh okay so we got these two top shades right here across the top are both shimmers oh my word oh those are beautiful really pretty so here shoot why am I so bad at this awesome awesome job Shay all right so these are the swatches one day I'm gonna be better at this these are super pigmented just on finger swatches the colors I mean I got so much pigment that is from a one swipe and these colors are so pretty there's a lot of rosy tones um, and I'm pretty darn excited so I'm gonna go in first with this shade Ooh, okay let's see Rose. okay so this first shade down here is called coffee blossom I'm gonna take this on a Sigma E40 <clears throat> and I'm gonna dip in that so this is just a matte light brown color and I'm just gonna start working that maybe I should have set my I've been trying to like try something new and not set my base to see how, you know like if it makes my eyeshadows work better and show it better all right so I'm just gonna run this through the crease I'm actually gonna switch to my morphe brush all right so I got that first shade of coffee blossom down there is some good pigment there it did blend out really nicely it's not looking patchy um, on my end and that is a really nice color it kind of pulled a little bit more pink than what I thought it was going to but um, it looks really really nice so I'm gonna go in I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna go with new okay I don't know if I'm bringing this thing backwards or not okay so that might have been nude rose that I went in with and this may be coffee blossom so the names are like from left to right so I don't know if that correlates like left to right on the front or if that is like the sticker is in place of the actual shadow this is confusing so what I'm gonna do is take this dark brown shade down here and this is another matte and I'm gonna work it on the outer portion of my eye first I'm just gonna pack it on and then I'm gonna blend it out okay so I got my this darker brown in the outer corner and I feel like it's trying to get a little bit patchy in certain areas but that could be the way I didn't set my base so we're just gonna move on and I think I'm gonna try a couple of these shimmers on my lid Ooh, man these are really really pretty these shimmer shades are all right so I'm gonna go in with these two on this side I'm gonna take the lighter one and put it on the inner corner and then this ah, right here this one and go more on the center of my eyelid so let me find a flat brush and I'm gonna go right in with this little flat oh that one's kind of hard Ooh. So I'm gonna use this just dry on its own no fix plus or anything 
Ooh. That is looking really pretty. We've got some good shimmer there going on, good pigment. Now I'm going to flip my brush over and pick up that shade right next to it, that middle one, shit, right there. <laughs> and put it right on the middle. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other eye, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the shimmer is on. I kind of want to try a little bit of Fix Plus just on that middle part and see what it does with a little spritz. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's try and see if it pops it anymore. Ooh, that is making it look more, a little bit more fulled almost. Oh my word. Okay, let me spray the inner corner because we want consistency here. These are just so pretty on their own. Like there's a lot of color payoff, but then you like give it a little spritz and it just like, it takes it up to the next level. Can you see what I'm talking about? Let me back up. I'll try to do a zoom in in a second. Um, I'm going to try to deepen this outer part a little bit and work on blending so and just trying to make everything a little bit more perfect okay I think that's as good as it's gonna get on the blending so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone with this shade fresh stem I think um, I think that's what I know about so I'm just going to take this little angled brush. Ooh, no, I think I'm going to go in actually with Opal Rose. This one has a little bit more of a, um, not that little, so yeah. This one has a little bit more of a pinky gold undertone. So I'm just going to run that right under my brow bone. Oh man, that is pretty. Okay, I love this palette. I could see myself getting a lot of uses out of this. And yes, it's small, but there is a lot of possibilities. You can use these shimmer shades for a lot. Um, and these two basic, like this light brown and this dark brown, are like basic crease and outer corner colors. So you can do a lot of different things with this little, little baby. All right, I'm going to put on some liner and some lashes. And go ahead and put on a little bit of foundation, and we'll come back and finish off the rest of what we have. Okay, we are back with a lot more of our face done this is the eye look don't mind my janky eyeliner i did this one and it like was like perfect and i was like oh yeah and i went to do this side and it got all jacked up but i fixed it the best i could but this eye shadow is so pretty i love it i love the rosy tones I think the pigment is great and I'm going to be reaching for this a lot I can tell so I went ahead and put on some foundation I used the flower beauty foundation again and I'm really liking it and I set my face put on a little bit of bronzer a little bit of blush and let's go ahead and blow out this lower lash line so I'm gonna take just a little pencil brush and I'm gonna go right into this light brown again and I'm just going to sweep that all the way under my lash line. Really want to um, buff that out really good. So I'm trying to find me a brush to do that with. Now in this pan, there is a little bit of fallout. But that does not bother me. If the pigment is there and if they blend out, that is all that matters. Alright, so I just smoked that out kind of the best I could. And now I'm going to go and take a little bit of a flat brush and I'm going to go with the dark brown and I'm going to stamp it next to my lash line. And have it meet like the my eyeliner 
and just give them a, a little bit more definition. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lighter um, shimmer shade that we used on the inner corner of the upper part of our eye. And I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. Right. Oh, that's a little bit, a little bit crumbly. I got a little too much. All right. And so lastly for the eyes, we are going to highlight the inner corner. And I'm going to grab again this shade on this side, little pink rose gold looking shimmer shade. And we're going to pop that right in there and really open up the eye. That's pretty. What do you think? You gonna like it? I really, really like it so far. All right, so the lashes I use today are these Icon lashes in the style Riri, and they're really, really pretty. They're not too much, like, you can still see my eyeshadow and my eye look through them. They're not, like, taken away, which is what I like about them, but they're still, like, super pretty. So, you can also use code SHAY87 at checkout and save 30% at Icon Lashes. So if you want in the market for some new lashes, go check them out. They have a lot of variety. Um, okay, so we got our base face done. The next product is probably the one I'm most excited for. And this is the Petal Metal Highlighter. Let's take a minute to appreciate, again, the outside packaging. But even more than that, you ready? Are you ready for this? Oh, can you just hear the angel singing. This is stunning. I, I just want to like put me a shelf right here and put it on my wall and just display it because it's gorgeous. Okay, so I have the shade Gilded Rose and this is what the inside looks like. Again, it is that rose print in there and it is a super, I don't even want to touch it, but I did already. This is pretty um, gold highlighter. Oh my gosh. So pretty. And it does have like a little bit of a pink tint to it. So I'm super duper excited to try this one. Let me find, let me find a highlighting brush. Oops, I found it. Okay, so this is the Morphe M510. I'm going to try with this. I may need something a little more packed like a little bit more dense but we're gonna try it with this and let's put her on Ooh. Mm. Mm. that is pretty and it's not like super intense upon this first application like, who am I upon this first application with the first application, it's not like super blinding, but I'm betting we can get it there. I'm going to take a little bit of the um, Petal Metal Spray, and I'm going to just spritz it on my beauty blender that is really dirty. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to take and like dab it on the back of my hand first, and then I'm just going to go very lightly over the cheek. Now I'm going to pick my brush back up and grab a little bit more. Oh yeah. Oh, that took it there. That is so pretty. I didn't know how this color was going to work on me. But it actually is really pretty. So it does have a pink shift to it. I would say it's kind of gold with a pink shift. And it looks super pretty. It's, I think this, it almost feels like it looks like a baked formula. And because whenever you do your brush in it, there's no kickback. There's nothing happening but it just like packs on your brush and then just goes on the skin and it looks wet that's it just it kind of reminds me of the Amrezy highlighter the way it sits on the skin it just looks like wet and it looks like it has melted into my skin i'm super impressed okay i love this highlighter this may be a new favorite oh my gosh 
Oh, I love this. Okay, probably my favorite product here. Okay, let's move along. I'm getting 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 off off track. Okay, so the last product we have, I have uh, what is all over my hands? Okay, I have stuff all over. So the last product is this Always On Petal Metal Liquid Lipstick, and I believe this is a metallic. This is the shade In Bloom. I love the Smashbox Always On formula it's one of my favorite lip um liquid lip formulas it's just so comfortable and it lasts all day all night so this again is the packaging i love it i love the rose gold top it has a little accent on the top of the um tube now the only thing again is my fingerprints are already getting all over it so if that bothers you just a heads up all right, so this is in the shade in bloom it has their typical applicator and i'm just going to go ahead and put this on i love it i love i'm not big on metallic lippies but this is beautiful yeah oh my gosh i love it again this it feels like the regular always on it's already dry it's comfortable it's not sticky it's not overly dry i really 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 like this oh my gosh everything was a hit okay let's do a close-up of the final look And that completes this video, you guys. I am very, 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 very pleased with all of these products. I like this spray. This would probably be my, I don't know, I love the way it made my skin look. I don't know that I miss, you know, I think I can see it actually coming through. Like, it's adding to the luminosity up on my forehead, I can tell slightly but I feel like the foundation does cover a lot of it up but I think this will be super pretty on the body especially with the summer coming up um but this would probably be out of this group my least favorite I think I like the eyeshadow and the highlighter and the lipstick better if I had to rank them this would probably come in at number four and then probably the lipstick because I do love this shade and even though I'm not big on metallics this looks super pretty and I love this formula and then I would probably have to go with oh my gosh I don't know which one would be number two ah probably number two with the highlighter and then number one on the eyeshadow palette so the highlighter looks gorgeous if you can see it is giving me such a pretty glow um, oh I didn't even give you a price how rude Let's see, the highlighter is um, $39, and they also have three shades in that. So that's a pretty pricey highlighter, but it is a good bit of product. I mean, you know, how many highlighters have you actually hit 10 on? And plus, it's gorgeous. And then, oh, I did give you a price on the eyeshadow palette. It's $29, and then the lipsticks are $24, and they do have a couple of, um, they have three shades all together. So... I think this is a gorgeous collection super happy that I got it well I won this in a raffle actually on Facebook makeup mavens shout out um, but I'm so happy because I probably wouldn't have bought I, I wasn't gonna buy any of this for myself but man I'm so happy that it is now part of my collection because this look I just I'm obsessed with my eye look I love the pink and rosy tones I've said it again let me say it one more time but I just love how it all works. Everything is beautiful. Everything is A+. Plus. So if you are wanting to know, I think all of this stuff is great um, and definitely worth it in my book. So I hope that you enjoyed this video so much. And that is all. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.